gets this news overnight, does it come as any surprise to you that uh, Europe has declared that the AstraZeneca jab is safe? No, look, it's not a surprise. It, this was expected, although clearly looking at the data very, very carefully, which has been done by the European Medicines Agency, was incredibly important, both to reassure everybody and also mm. to, you know, examine the information, examine the data. And, and I'm very pleased that they've come out with this uh, report overnight. I think it's uh, positive news. So were they too quick on the trigger to, to pause it in the first place? Look, the problem with pausing is it can cause a very uh, a big disruption to vaccine rollout, very big, actually. That's the evidence from other vaccine pauses that have shown to be not really necessary and yet uh, have led to problems with actually getting the vaccine out. So, look, I think it was possibly too quick on the trigger in this particular mm. case. So our government was justified in not overreacting. In my view, they've reacted appropriately, the, the, the Australian government, and they've done what they should have done, and uh, I'm pleased with, uh, with the outcome. OK, we're moving to the next phase on Monday. Uh, we, are, we are way behind at this stage when it comes to vaccinating the population. We've reached about half the levels. What, what concerns do you have about that, and do you think we can catch up? Well, I think we can catch up. And I, uh, last night, in fact... Uh, I heard some information from uh, you know, the department secretary and also the CMO and others about this. There's clearly a ramping up of production occurring in Australia, and that will mm. catch up in the next uh, several weeks. I think there will be a number of initiatives coming down the pipeline, as I understand it, that will definitely increase uh, you know, vaccination availability. So I think people shouldn't be too worried. This is ramping up. It's, it always takes time for this to happen. It's a complex, yeah. complex process. So, I mean, the, the, the game changer will be when we are producing vaccines here, right, when CSL rolls it out? That's correct. Uh, that's expected soon. And uh, once that happens, uh, it'll be much, much, there'll be much more availability. And, and obviously, there'll be a ramp up of the uh, places you'll be able to get vaccinated. And that's the good mm. news. And I think that's well in hand, well planned and, and, and coming along. Although as, at the moment, clearly, there are some teething problems, yeah, as well, we've heard about. We've, we've had a couple of teething problems. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is going to happen. I was just talking to the Treasurer about this, actually. When you're vaccinating an entire nation, these sorts of things are going to happen. So in that sense, are you going to be expecting some kind of hiccup to take place, whatever it is, on Monday? It's not going to be flawless. It's not going to be flawless, but I don't think it'll be a major hiccup. At least I hope not. It, you know, I think people should be reassured. This is very well planned. Look, 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 you know, the jabs are going on now. I have mine this week. Uh, uh, very well organised um, at the hospital hub where I happen to have mine. Uh, and, look, I, I, I think this is, is going well. So uh, as well as you might almost hope it goes, despite the hiccups. You don't want anyone, you know, jumping at shadows too. I mean, the Queensland government the other day uh, made a slight mistake uh, when it asked for people who suffered from anaphylaxis to stop taking, to, 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 put, to, to, to delay getting the jab. But the feds came over the top of that and said, wait, wait a sec, no, there's, there's no problem there. Uh, what's your view on that? Yeah, look, I think that's correct. Uh, the anaphylaxis is, is rare. It does happen. Uh, it's very well uh, being uh, planned for, uh, you know, waiting after the vaccine, observing people, uh, making sure there's not a problem. It usually happens immediately. Uh, adrenaline's available. Look, uh, you know, I think this is uh, not, not an issue people should be terribly worried about. Uh, although, obviously, if you've got anaphylaxis history, you need to let them know when you're there for the mm. vaccination. It's going to be a busy day for GPs come Monday, isn't it? Yeah, very, very busy. I know the GPs are working, going to work very, very hard and do their very best, and they will be very, very busy. Professor, appreciate your time. Talk to you soon. Thank you.